This one's gonna be on ZSH uh, prompt in it, and basically it's just themes for your terminal here that you can use. And these are like predefined ones, so if you don't want to create your own custom ones, you can use some of these ones. Some of these ones actually looks pretty nice. So the one I'm using right now is called Fade, and you can see it's like green and then white text and all that. But if you want to use other ones, you can do that here. All you gotta do in your Z shell is that open up your Z shell uh, RC here. And all you gotta do is type in what was that the uh, auto load and you you're loading this one called prompt init and then you're executing the prompt init here. And as far as the prompts that you want to use, all you gotta do is type in prompt and in the name of the prompt. And sometimes you have no other parameters like uh, the colors you want to use. Um, now the good thing about this is that they actually give you a preview of what it looks like in your terminal, um, which is really convenient. So let me show you that here. Let's open a new one. Now, if you want to get a list of your prompts, you can do, well, there's two ways, but um, you can do prompt-l, and this one just lists out, you know, in plain text what it what it is. So you have the atom 1, atom 2, um, big fade, the one I'm using is called fade, and so on and so forth. All, right, you, all you gotta do is type in that name in your configuration, and it'll load it. Now, if you want to see what it looks like, this is the preview here. You do uh, prompt-p. And this one gives you a preview of what it looks like in your terminal. Um, you know, let's say if I was using this uh, Atom 2 theme here, then they'll have this little bar going through it every time you execute a command. Uh, if I was using the Bart theme, it'll be red, and then the last command I use it would be in blue. And if I was using Big Faith, this one would be blue. Um, if you want to, like some of these prompts, they have like, different colors. So this one, like this big fade theme, they actually have different colors you can use. So you can use uh, red, you know, and it'll change it to red or white or whatever it is. Uh, you can do that. Same thing with down here where they have like these elite themes. So this one's in red, this one's in yellow, in green, whatever it is you want to use. So let's say, for example, I was using this uh, elite two here, right? I'll copy this and I go back into my terminal and we're just gonna um, edit this part out here. Oops. Edit this sucker out and we'll comment this old one out here and we'll save it. Now let's open a new terminal and this is the Elite 2 theme here, right? It's just all teal color, I guess. Now if I wanna change it to a different color, uh, cause this one does have different colors here. Uh, let's say I wanna change it to red here. All you gotta do is type in red. Um, next to it here we do red and that is it I think uh, no we're going here and now let's reload this and there you go it's in red now so that's how you change the different colors if you want um, so pretty much it for the prompts and if you're using Z shell like I, I stopped using the oh my ZSH and I, I need a new theme so that's why I just want something quick and this was it and it actually looks pretty nice because the theme that I'm using what was it one here the fade one here uh, I like it you know look at this here I mean you can always do your own custom ones if you want like your own custom PS1 uh, prompt um, they do have that option too same as in bash but Z shell they actually have a predefined one that you can use which I like because you know sometimes you want to see or you just want to get up and running real quick you don't have to waste time creating your own one and that's what they have uh, that you can use by default all you gotta do is type in those commands into your uh, ZSHRC and then you have your prompts anyways that's it for this one